Uh-oh. Did I make another terrible mistake? I'm a complete beginner looking to improve my palate and learn more about bourbon. So come along with me. All right. You know, I've tried some really cheap bourbons. Uh, actually, one was like this stuff in a little bottle that you pour into neutral spirits. That was terrible. Um, plus some, some really bottom shelfers. Uh, Kentucky Gentleman, for example. Uh, not so good, but I saw this and uh, my local liquor store, and it was about 15 bucks, which is not really cheap. Never heard of it. Thought, hmm, eh, I don't know about that. But I saw some things that made me want to try it. So let's go ahead and open it up and let it breathe, and then we'll try it and uh, just see how it is. So, go ahead and, uh, that's a little. Little, little cap thing here. Man, that'll make this easy. To All right, it's got a twist off cap, so that's a good start. Let's go ahead and put a little on a Glen Karen. Okay, doesn't look too bad. Let's let it breathe for a little bit. And what made me go ahead and buy this? bourbon is uh, some stuff that I saw on the label and I know sometimes labels can be deceiving but let's uh, let's look at it the first thing I noticed about it is it's 103 proof so it's not really that 80 proof watered down you know minimum that you can get kind of thing so that's like okay yeah maybe, maybe they're trying to go after uh, like uh, wild turkey 101 maybe uh, the other thing is said Kentucky Straight Bourbon Whiskey, so okay, it's got some age to it, um, and uh, that's, a, that's a legal term. Bottled, it says distilled, aged, and bottled by Fighting Cock Distillation Company, Bardstown, Kentucky. So okay, that means this was distilled and bottled distilled and then put in barrels and aged and then put in bottles by the people of this company. It's not something that they bought and just shipped in a truck full of watered down bourbon and put it in a bottle that they bought uh, wholesale and then slapped some kind of label that they had printed at the local printer. This, um, when, when they're doing that, when it's one company that is distilling and aging and bottling the bourbon, that means they're putting some care in it. They're they're putting some love into this. So you know, and I've got some others that I've gotten uh, recently that uh, that are kind of like local distillers. Some here in Texas. Let me show you some of those. All right, here are two bourbons that are made here in Texas, actually close to me. One is still Austin. It's made just outside of Austin. Uh, they, it's all Texas grains, they've got their own distillery, uh, they do their own aging, this is, uh, you know, that's pretty local. This one right here, Rebecca Creek, this is actually a distillery that's just a few miles from my house, and I visited this, this distillery, I do want to go and visit Still Austin, but, uh, this one is all Texas grains, they, uh, grind them up, they do have their still, I visited, seen the still, um, they do their own aging, and they do it off-site, it's not at the distillery, they actually take it to another warehouse to age it, and then bring it back, and then they bottle it, and you can watch all that process, so the, the companies that do this, this is not just where they buy a truckload of juice from MGP and have it shipped in and just throw it into a bottle and slap a label on it. They, they, they give it some care, they give it some love. And uh, yeah, I think it's reflected in the taste. So let's go ahead and try this fighting cock out and just see, just see how it is. All right. Let's make a color. Uh, not really seeing much uh, viscosity. It doesn't look like it's kind of sticking to the glass. But we'll see.
A little floral, maybe. Give it a taste. It's good. But I can't really taste, yeah, it does have some viscosity. It's kind of sticking in the glass, it is. Um, I don't know really what the taste, though, what, uh, what the notes. This is a good bourbon. Let's try a little bit over ice. <clears throat> Just see how that is. That's good. It's got a good mouthfeel too. And uh, that's really good. But um, I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll go ahead and drink this over the course of a week. Come back next week. Do another tasting and then see if my palate's improved. See if I'm tasting anything different. If you want to do that with me, love to have you do that. Um, doesn't have to be the bourbon that I drink. You can drink your own bourbon. Uh, or something you have, or something you'd like to try. But uh, if you can find something that is that is uh, distilled, aged, and bottled by one company, and it's not something they ship in from here and put in bottles and slap labels on it and call it, you know, mark it up and call it something different, I think that would probably be worth giving them a shot. So this Finding Kotka... <clears throat> yeah, although the, the name is kind of weird, I'm just not kind of impressed by the label or the, or the, the uh, I guess to each his own though, but uh, actually pretty decent bourbon. So drink the bourbon you like and I'll see you again. Drink responsibly and in the meantime, enjoy.